Hello everyone, this is Alex on Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. Here's the news from the third week of September. First up, Kakao Mobility to demonstrate Korea's first 80km long distance platooning. Kakao Mobility announced its development achievements of platooning service platform through a national project and said that it would be the first in Korea to demonstrate long distance platooning in the 80km section. Kakao Mobility announced the research achievements of V2X based platooning service platform development by participating in the final performance presentation of autonomous cooperative platooning technology development for trucks held by the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport on September 9th. Following the successful run of the 8km section from Seoul UIC to Yeolju JCT last year, the demonstration will be conducted in the 80km section of the National Highways Yeongdong Expressway and Jungbu Inland Expressway. The technological difficulty has also been lifted. The number of vehicles will be increased from 3 to 4 and the operating speed will be increased from 80km per hour to 90km per hour. The vehicle to vehicle distance will be reduced from 15.6 meters to 12.5 meters and more sophisticated platooning technology will be introduced. Korea Expressway Corporation has been operating a national project to secure platoon driving technology for four years from 2018 with support from the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport. Cal Mobility is participating with Hyundai Motor Company, Kungmin University and Aju University to conduct R&D related to the development of an operating service platform that connects vehicles participating in platooning and the implementation of a logistics transport service model for technology commercialization. For our next story, Genome and Company to target the US CMO market. Genome and Company, a new drug development company that utilizes microbiomes is entering the microbiome drug contract manufacturing or CMO market. It is a stepping stone for not only preparing a profit base, but also for entering the global market, starting with the United States. Genome and Company announced on September 8th that it has acquired a 60% stake in the US CMO company List Labs for 27 million US dollars or about 31.4 billion Korean won. List Lab is a bio company headquartered in San Jose, United States, and has been in the CMO business of microbiomes and bacteria toxins for 43 years. The current production scale of List Labs is at a level that can produce reagents for use in clinical trials phases one and two. The annual sales are around 100 billion won. Genome and Company is planning to expand its production capacity to a level that can conduct phase three trials and manufacture finished drugs by 2024. CEO Bay said, the fund for expansion will come from List Labs, Genome and Company will not do a capital increase. The reason Genome and Company acquired List Lab is to speed up its entry into the US market. Currently, most microbiome CMO companies are located in the Netherlands, Australia, and France, where dairy farming is well developed. Because the microbiome treatment uses live bacteria, the distance the drug moves is directly related to its quality. The shorter the distance traveled, the greater the competitiveness. For the next story, OnLove applies QRNG technology to cryptographic module to increase unpredictability. OnLab announced on September 8th that it has obtained a Korea Cryptographic Module Validation Program, or KCMVP, with ACM 1.0, a cryptographic module that adds a quantum random number generator, or QRNG, as a noise source for the first time in Korea. KCMVP is a system that verifies the safety and implementation sustainability of cryptographic modules to protect important information among data used in public information and communications networks. The National Security Research Institute and the Korea Internet and Security Agency, or KISA, are in charge of testing and evaluation, and the National Intelligence Service conducts verification based on the evaluation results. Cryptographic modules that have passed verification are listed in the Certified Cryptographic Modules list from the National Intelligence Service. OnLab completed KCMVP once again by adding QRNG from the Korean security startup EYL 
as a noise source for random number generation to ACM 1.0, which already has KC MVP. The noise source is an important value that becomes a material for random number generation, and the unpredictability of the random number depends on the noise source. By adding the noise source, ACM 1.0 has increased randomness, random number sequence without statistical bias and unpredictability. The next number cannot be predicted from the past number sequence. Of the random number sequence created in the environment where EYL's QRNG is equipped. Through this, the security of the encryption operation using the random number was further strengthened. For the next story, SK Bioscience holds mRNA vaccine patent analysis briefing session. The Korean Intellectual Property Office, or KIPO, held an mRNA vaccine patent analysis briefing session at SK Bioscience, a vaccine developer located in Songnam, Gyeonggi Province, on the September 9th. At the business session, major technologies by mRNA vaccine production processes, key patents, examples, and disputes were announced. In addition to the mRNA patent analysis, the results of patent analysis on non-mRNA vaccines and raw materials were also introduced. Following the briefing, the KIPO director Kim yong Sun had a meeting with SK Bioscience President An jae yong and other relevant officials to listen to the difficulties related to intellectual property rights during the vaccine development stages and took a tour around the vaccine R&D site. President An said, if we utilize the results of this mRNA patent analysis, it would be greatly helpful in determining the direction of future vaccine research and development. Deputy Director Kim said, we will do everything we can to provide policy support so that Korea can be vaccine independent and furthermore become the global hub to supply vaccines to the world. And now for our quick news of the week. First up, Samsung Heavy Industries opens the era of autonomous ships. Shipbuilding company Samsung Heavy Industries announced on September 6 that it has succeeded in demonstrating the world's first autonomous navigation technology in which two large ships automatically avoid collisions at sea. Next up, Nexon recruits participants for the Children's Convergence Workshop online HAT live class. Nexon said on September 8th that it has made Online HAT Live Class the online course for Nexon Computer Museum's Children's Education Program HAT, which stands for Humanities, Art, Design, and Creative Technology, and it will start receiving applications from September 9th. And finally, Kakao Webtoon ranks first in sales in Thailand just three months after launching. Kakao Entertainment announced on September 9th that Kakao Webtoon ranked first in sales in Thailand in August. It has been three months since its launch in June, and it comes from its active premium ISP supply and marketing. That's it this week for your Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist, and I'll see you next time.